Pressure Pressure This is David. David is a carpenter with a wife and two kids. David works on a construction site and loves his job, but the most important thing to him is to go home to his wife and family every day. In order to do this, he must recognize hazards on a construction site like temperature, gravity, and even chemicals. One of the harder hazards to visualize on a construction site is pressure. So in order for David to better recognize these hazards, he must first understand what pressure is. Pressure is a force exerted over a certain area. Pressure is often expressed in units as pounds per square inch. It is important to remember that pressure is a ratio, so a small force over a small area is equal to a large force over a large area. One of the most common ways that David will be exposed to pressure is by pr having pressure vessels on site. A pressure vessel is a container designed to hold gases or liquids at a pressure substantially different from the ambient pressure. Examples of pressure vessels include air tanks, hot water power washers, and welding cylinders. Most pressure vessels contain valves that allow for the high pressure inside of the tank to be released controllably. Uncontrolled release of pressure from a vessel can cause severe accidents or injuries. Explosions due to high pressure have a 40% fatality rate and are one of the 10 most common accidents on a construction site. One of the most dangerous aspects of explosions are the high-speed projectiles released that can easily pierce through skin or vital organs of people standing nearby. The speed at which gas and projectiles leave a pressure vessel is often determined by the pressure differential between inside of the tank and the ambient air pressure outside of the tank. This slow motion video helps us visualize how air moves from a tank that is pressurized at 60 psi through a quarter inch diameter valve. In this demonstration we can see that air exits the tanks at similar speeds when the vessels have comparable pressures. However, tanks with higher pressure release far faster air and are considered far more hazardous. It is important when working on high pressure lines to release the pressure and mitigate this risk. Now that David knows about pressure and how it exists on a construction site, there are a few things that he can do while working to ensure that he is protected from pressure related accidents. Here are three things that David can do to greatly reduce the probability of an uncontrolled pressure release. First, he can visually inspect the pressure vessel to ensure that it has no cracks or corrosion that would cause the tank to fail. The second thing that David can do is ensure that all pressure vessels are stored correctly. This will minimize their chances of developing a crack or corrosion that will cause them to fail. Finally, before David can maintain or work on any high pressure tanks or pipelines, he must first depressurize the vessel. This ensures that if an uncontrollable release of pressure does occur, then it will happen at much slower speeds. Another form of pressure that David must be aware of on a construction site is soil pressure. Soil pressure is defined as the force spread over the area of a material that is necessary to keep it in an equilibrium state or stable. Usually soils are secured in all six directions by soil pressure, but when a soil is excavated, one of the restraining forces is removed, leaving the soil in an unstable condition. A trench collapse occurs when the force in one direction results in the overall ground movement. The collapse can happen within a blink of an eye or a tenth of a second. Soil is deceivingly heavy. In this video we see 200 cubic feet of soil collapse weighing over 10 tons. The speed and force of trench collapses can cause severe injuries. Trench collapses are responsible for 35 fatalities annually in the United States alone. If a victim of a soil collapse is not killed by crushing forces, they will often die due to asphyxiation. This occurs because after one exhales, their lungs are not able to expand due to the massive amounts of pressure on their chest. In this demonstration, we see a man wearing a sphygmometer across his chest. This device is usually used to test blood pressure, but here it is mimicking the pressure applied to one's chest under certain soil depths. As the cuff expands, it becomes harder and harder to breathe. It becomes quite painful, 
at 72 milligrams of mercury, which is similar to being buried under two feet of soil. There are several ways in which soil can be excavated that will make it safe for David to do work inside of an excavated area. These methods include installing a trench box, installing shoring, or excavating using sloping or benching methods. Now that David knows what pressure is and how it exists on a construction site, here are a few reminders about how he can stay safe. Let's remember that pressure is simply a force exerted over a certain area and is usually expressed in terms of pounds per square inch. Next, pressure exists in many kinds of ways on a construction site, but some of its more hazardous forms are pressure vessels and soil Since it pressure. is so difficult to visualize how much pressure is contained by a vessel, it is important to check the vessel's gauge, visually inspect the vessel for cracks or corrosion, and ensure that the vessel is being properly maintained and stored. Finally, when the soil is excavated, soil pressure creates an unstable condition. This condition can be controlled through the use of a trench box, shoring, sloping, or benching.